So recently, my buddy Steve and I, we took a trip to Surgeon Bay, Wisconsin. Took a fishing trip, five and a half days of some awesome small fishing. Well, we stayed at a hotel in Surgeon Bay, which I'll remain unnamed which one it was, because in the end it was good service and the hotel was nice and they gave us a good rate. But we had a few issues with some of the employees. First thing I did, you know, when I got in the hotel room was open a window because it kind of had that, not a musty smell, but kind of a hotel smell to it. And open the window, opens, it's fine, it's nice, going to chilly out, going to air the room out. About a half hour later, I go to close the window because there's some drunk idiots outside our room window, you know, in the parking lot, just having a blast apparently. And I go to turn the handle and it just spins over and over, doesn't grip it, window won't shut. So we had to spend the first night listening to these drunken idiots. I had to go and complain a couple times about it and they still just wouldn't calm down. You know, first night we weren't, you know, we weren't that tired, we hadn't been fishing all day or anything like that, so we had to sit there and just listen to these idiots just babble about nonsense. You know, and then we're sitting there, we're, you know, we're trying to sleep and we keep hearing this thumping sound and we're like, what the f is that? We can't figure it out. And then all of a sudden I have an epiphany that we're right beneath the stairway of the hotel. We're right next to the lobby. We had drunk idiots outside our room and we got the stairs right above us. So every person that walks to the second level of the hotel, we hear them walking out the steps. We're sitting here, we're frustrated because we reserved this hotel room two months in advance. Two months! And we got the shit room in the entire hotel. So then, you know, we, we put up with it. My parents were with too, and they were only staying for three days though. So. so we're like, oh, it'll be fine. We'll just, we'll switch out with them. When they leave, we'll take their old room and then our room can, they'll put somebody else in it. No problem. You know, second day we slept fine because we were tired. We were out in the water for almost 12 hours. So we slept fine. When we were coming back in, after the second day, my parents were getting ready to leave. They're checking out the next day. We went up to the front desk and we asked the uh, person at the front desk, said, hey, you know, we're really unhappy with our room and they're leaving, we're staying. Can we just move into their room and instead of having you close out their room? You know, and the guy goes, oh yeah, sure. You know, we can, we can totally do that for you. You know, I don't, yeah, you just, you know, when, when you move out and they move in, you know, it's fine. Just." You know, go right in there, we'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Doesn't look at a computer, doesn't call a manager, nothing. And while we're doing this, there's one of the cleaning ladies who's standing right next to him. And she goes, oh yeah, we always have problems with that room. You know, people complain about it all the time. It's just super noisy. Then why are you giving it to people? What? If, you have, if, if people are always complaining about it, why even bother using it? Why not use it for storage or something and just, not use that room. So we're just like, all right, he said that's fine. And so we go back into our rooms that night, right before going ready, we're getting ready for bed, and I told my buddy Steve, I go, you mark my words. We're gonna go there in the morning, and we're gonna be switching all our stuff over, and I'm gonna go talk to the front desk, and they will have no clue what we're talking about. So I can guarantee you that that guy didn't know what he was talking about and just wanted us to go away. So the next morning we wake up and you know, it's early, it's like 5.30, quarter to six. And we're, we got all our stuff packed up the night before and we're moving it down to our, my parents' room. Now, you know, they're only, you know, just on the other side of the lobby, but it's still a pain in the ass. And so we're pulling all the stuff over and I get, we get everything moved over. And I thought to myself, you know, I better double check with the front desk. I'm like, I, I just better double check because I've been in this situation before and they almost always just totally forget about it or no one tells somebody and just the communication breaks down somewhere along the line. So I get up there and I asked the lady at the front desk and I said, hey, you know, last night we talked to so-and-so about, uh, you know, switching our rooms. We had a complaint and they said, oh, we'll just move into this room. They're leaving. It's fine. No big deal. I told her that and she just gave me this puzzled look that I was expecting from a mile away. She had no clue what we were talking about. And Steve was walking by, I go, hey Steve, told ya. She continued to not give a flying about our situation. She put forth a minimum wage effort. 
let's just put it that way. She was unpleasant, she was kind of bitchy, and she was just being not helpful at all. So after about 15, 20 minutes of us trying to get into a new room, she finally puts us in a room two doors down the hallway. Gee, thanks. You're too kind. And she says, well, you know, we can, uh, we can have room service move your stuff over for you while you're out fishing. And I said, absolutely not. I do not want your room service fingering through all my stuff and moving it over for us. We'll do it when we get back. Because the room service the night before, they didn't even close the door behind them. We came back and our door was open for anybody to walk in. And it had been like that all day. Not happy. Not happy at all. So I told her, no, we'll do it when we get back. So we get back um, that afternoon from fishing. You know, we're tired and we just, you know, want to get some food and want to go to sleep. You know, that day had been really windy, really rough, rough water. Uh, it rained for a while too. You know, we still caught good fish, but it was, it was just an exhausting day. So we get back to the hotel and we move all our stuff over. The, the, there's a new attendant at the front desk and she was very helpful. She was very pleasant, which was, I was very happy because I was kind of cranky. I was tired. So thankfully for her sake, that she was very helpful and very nice. So we get into our new room. I go and I turn the AC on because it's raining out, whatever, you know, I don't want the window open. And I happen to notice like, oh, the window is actually already open. I'm like, that's strange. So I go to close it and the handle just spins again. The freaking handle is broken in this one, uh, just like the old room. I'm just like, I don't, I don't even know what to say anymore at this point. I mean, it's just one thing after another with this place. I called the front desk, I went to the front desk and I said, hey, you know, we just had the same problem with our other room and now our window won't close. It's about to storm. Could you please send somebody in to fix the window quickly? Thank you very much. And she was very helpful. She was very nice. She sent somebody in right away. <laughs> but it's just, it's one thing after another. You know, we just couldn't catch a break. Every day, there was something else that was wrong with this room, or both rooms, that is. It was, it was an experience. But like I said, put all those things aside. The hotel was very nice for the price, and it was just a handful of people who the communication just broke down, or they just didn't give a crap, and you know, that was frustrating.